Hey, 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 my friends. I've been taking a little break from my 100 baby game, and now The Sims 4 Star Wars Journey to the 2 is out, and I got it, and I'm playing around with it, and I thought I'd post my adventures to share. I know this was a controversial pack. A lot of people said they don't want it or they're not sure about it. I must admit, I was curious, so I got it, and I'm playing it, so you don't have to if you don't want to. You can just see what a regular simmer like me makes of it, but I do want to warn you, there are going to be some huge spoilers. I'm not reviewing it here, though you can see the link to my written review below, but this is a let's play, and you're going to see the missions, and you're going to see how they unfold, and the resolutions, if I can find them. You're going to see the good, the bad, or the ugly of the pack, so here's your spoiler warning. Enter at your own risk. I myself have not been watching any of the previews or gameplay. I bought it on the 8th when it came out, but the only things I'd seen are the trailers for it that they released before that, and I gotta say up front, this is not the pack I really wanted, but like I said, I was curious. Um, I do like Star Wars, so I did want to see what it was about, though I can't foresee that this is going to become a very big part of my personal gameplay. So I made my character. Her name is Brody. I just played around, and I kind of liked the vibe I came up with. I rolled the dice on her name and um, Moon came up and I, I just thought that was kind of funny so I went with it. And she's self-assured, kleptomaniac, and a geek. I plopped her down in Strangerville and in my head her backstory is that she wants to be a sci-fi writer and she's attracted to all kinds of space and alien things so she easily gets attracted and sucked in by all of these adventures in this exciting new Star Wars galaxy. Gotta say I'm old enough to remember when the very first Star Wars film hit theaters and how amazing it was to kids in my generation at the time how it just blew us away i love the original trilogy for that reason and star wars for that reason will always hold a special place in my heart that said i'm not that big of a sci-fi fan i love the first trilogy i like the second trilogy i was excited when it came out i used to love going to star wars weekends when i lived near disney world and i got a little excited for the recent movies but they weren't my thing i haven't seen all of them I don't watch the TV shows, I don't read comics, I don't play other video games, so I love me some Yoda t-shirts and knickknacks, I love Chewie, Han Solo is one of my childhood crushes, Leia is beyond a princess, she's a queen, always idolize her, and I think the Disney World rides and shows were a lot of fun, but I don't really qualify as a real fan, not a die-hard loyal fan anyway, but I am kind of interested to see what they got going here with the Star Wars franchise. Let's see, alrighty. Have you been to Black Spire Outpost on Batu yet? I hear it's the adventure of a lifetime. You should go check it out. Uh, yes, let's go now, yeah. I just hope this doesn't mean that every single game I play from now on is going to get a phone call inviting me to Batu. Welcome to Batu. While on Batu, you will use a different currency called Galactic Credits and have a special inventory. Don't worry, your civilians and inventory contents are safe at home. To get started, check your career panel for your first mission to get help, to help get your bearings. Okay, so you got to be on a mission when you're here. Um, plan your Batu outfit at the dwelling. Freshen up at the dwelling and order food from Docking Bay 7. All right, well, where's the dwelling? First of all, let's have a look at this place. I've seen the images. It's, it's pretty. I mean, it's nice animation. Olga's Cantina. Shop, Doc Undard's Den of Antiquities, Lightsaber Workshop, the Millennium Falcon needs no introduction. Oh, this is blinking. I guess that's where they want me to go. I guess I'm supposed to go here to change into a Batu outfit and freshen up. All right. Adagom Schloaf. Okay, so they come like in a separate cast? Is that what? Okay. Uh... Okay, we are outfitted. Uh, okay, freshen up. You can't go in? It's a rabbit hole? Seriously? This makes literal no sense because then like... Like if I want a vacation with my family, I... They, like, if people are gonna sleep, they're gonna go inside and then the rest of us are all just gonna like stand out here? Let's head to Docking Bay 7. Let's see this world. Oh, I'm frozen. I'm freezing. Let's see it from her perspective. Okay. It reminds me of Disney World. I gotta say. It, it just like reminds me of that kind of set. There goes a kid. I don't know. 
She's going into docking base seven for food. Okay, it's another rabbit hole. Uh, she's not really hungry. So, oh, you get free food. Do we even have credits? Yes, we have 50 credits, apparently. Um, she's not hungry. Let's just get some outpost popcorn mix for free. And she's eating inside. Oh no, she's out here. Okay, so I just gotta. There's not even tables. Check out with this chick with the hair. With the what are those horns? Let's ask about the resistance. Can Kubu Koiba in a prig? Ah oh, yes. Have any? Are you with the First Order? Why are you so interested in the resistance? If they were holed up in the Black Spire outpost, I'd know about it. They must be hold, hiding out of town. Okay. Ask about the First Order. Where are you going? Oh, there's the tables. Okay. Okay, so if you want to eat here, at least there are tables. Okay. There's a little dining area. There oh, there's a stormtrooper. A stormtrooper guard at Disney World once called my son Rebel Scum. He was 11. It made his Floyd day. Floyd Machardo? Yips. Ah, oh, yo yo. Yeah, yips. If you're looking for the First Order, try the First Order cargo building. Ask about scoundrels. Hondo Onaka is the person to speak with. You can probably find him over at... Ogus Cantina and Black Spire Outpost. Let's ask a stormtrooper. You are looking to join our order rank speak with Lieutenant Agnon in the First Order District. Ah, oh, yo yo. Ask about the resistance. As soon as we discover their location on Batu, we will wipe them out. Do you have any oh, yes. that we can uncover the vermin? Scoundrels are up to no good and you should avoid them and obey the laws. You'll be fine. We'll be watching you. Okay, the cantina appears to be open. At least there's something you can go into. I was beginning to get worried. The First Order has taken over part of Black Spire Outpost and you can find Lieutenant Agamemnon there. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm not done with you, girl. Let me ask you about the others. Mission complete. Congratulations on completing your first mission. Now that you have your bearings, we recommend exploring the other neighborhoods of Batu by clicking travel in your phone. New missions can be obtained from Sims with a faction icon above their head. Okay, he's got a faction icon. He's a scoundrel. Oh, here is that Hondo Onaka guy. Continue to build your reputation. Okay, we got a new panel here. So she's neutral. So he's with the scoundrels. Let's 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 ask him about. Hello, Hundo. Four hundred credit reward bonus item. What's this? I see fresh new face. Care to join me in a game of sabak? Sabak? It's really the only proper way to get to know someone. What have you got to lose? You might make a new friend. Either way, you get to bask in my good looks for a while. Nothing like a friendly card game. That's a lot of credits. Oh wow, they're really throwing it all in there. Hope she doesn't lose. Oh god, she's already spent like a hundred credits not losing the stuff she just stole. Huh? The global. Oh, she is. But she won. All right. Oh yes. Good game, my friend. I'm an easy on you, of course. You know I could use- oh, hold on a second. You know I could use your help earning some credits. Of course, you'd get a cut. Okay, so let's get a mission. I guess we're starting out as a scoundrel. And I really don't want these videos to be long since we already did a couple little mini missions to ease into it. I will put the next one up separately as a part two and I will keep doing parts with each little mission. So if you want to check them out, come back and take a look for it tomorrow. I'll have it there. But thanks for watching. My first impressions of this game is really beautiful world animation, but I don't like that almost everything is a rabbit hole and you have to pretty much wander around the streets or go to the cantina. And I do like the idea that you're getting these little missions and you have to go talk to this one or you have to go talk to that one. And hopefully 
uh, they'll get harder as we go along. They said there's something like about 50 missions, and I, I assume some are for the scoundrels, some are for the resistance, some are for the first order. So we'll hop around there and check it out. But thanks for watching. Remember, my review is on my hub pages article, hoping to get it published on Level Skip. Uh, that stuff is a little bit of my bread and butter, not the whole loaf, but it's a little bit of my family's bread and butter. I make a little royalties every month that is helpful to pay, you know, throw to a bill. So if you go look at my articles, they are completely free for you to read and enjoy, but they do help out a really hardworking class family. So thanks for watching and thanks for checking them out and I will see you next time. In the meantime, happy stibbing wherever you are in the galaxy. Have a good night.